noted for Edinkra. Edinkra, someone. Edinkra means farewell. Farewell? Yes. It is started by a gentleman called Kwame Edinkra. It all started by a gentleman called Kwame Adinkra. He was a king of German. And he designed the material, I mean the various symbols on, on his clock. So when kings met, he was so different. So that's how can we get the name Edinkra. The Ashanti kings ordered for people to go and learn how to do that. They came back and then they have popularized Edinkra. So the credit is from is to Kwame Edinkra, but the development, I mean, developing it for marketing and then for others started here in Asante. So Edinkra symbols were our symbols and each symbols will have a very philosophical meaning. The popular ones are the one you call uh, Sankofa, Jinyami. The other day I was wearing a shirt and there's a cross sword on this chest in front of the sword. Uh, that is one of the Edinkra symbols. There are several of them, about 100, and that people are carving out different uh, symbols. So this village we're going to, their business is they make the Edinkra cloth printed. Now, when they realize that the material that you get the dye, the natural dye from, is a, from a small plant. Mm -hmm. And harvesting that makes the growth, uh, they are instinctive. But they still use the material in that happens. And also getting the dye, you have to go through rigorous process. You pound it into pieces, the spongy, you boil it, you sieve it, and then you keep boiling until you get the, uh, the, I mean, the dye become thicker. So if you take a whole drum, or if you take five liters, by the time you finish, you're only getting one liter because evaporation has to take, has to take, take place. And it takes a long time to do. So, and we have, some people start using industrial dye with screen printing. But it's still the same, they use the symbols, but now they use industrial dye for the printer. And they move from that, they're still, they, all, they, they upgraded to using the machine to do, to engrave the symbols on the piece of cloth. So all of these things are things that they exhibit. So where we're going to go, we'll still have opportunity of seeing the old method. Who we'll get to see how we get the dye, we extract the dye from the plant. And also harvesting the plant is gradually depleting our forest. So of course, I see it giving way to uh, uh, industrial dye and also the new, the way they use tailor to make the work on the material. This, where we're going, the cell the Kente stole, there are 40 CDs per stole, or oh, strip, sorry, a strip. Then there's a chart that contains these symbols with meanings. So you read through the chart and select, they will select for you symbols that might meet your aspiration. So you can do the stamping, just keep it on the sand for 10 to 5 feet, depending on the weather, on the weather. with this weather about 10 minutes, it will dry, then you take it on your bus, you take it home. So you're actually buying the kente cloth and they will help you to do the printing. Okay. Don't worry about whose piece that you have taken. They know whose piece you have taken. So, for, so when, they, when you pay the money, everything will be distributed to them. Okay. okay. So that's the next stuff we'll be doing in our next 10 minutes. Okay. Thank you.